The VitaFlow study is a CFDA study, which is a Chinese FDA study, which is supposed to validate the use uh, based on efficacy and safety outcomes in a, with the TAVI device, with the new TAVI device that have some specific features. So this is the aim, and then make it come to the market and treat patients with it in China and hopefully elsewhere. The VitaFlow first generation that we used for the study is a self-expendable device. It may look similar, and if, I mean, if you look at the general aspect to another valves that we have available on the market today, but actually it's quite different in that, that it has large cells. Large cells means a chance to go back into the coronary arteries later in the future if you implant it in younger patients. And this is very important because this is a key point in, in if you want to implant the TAVI in younger patients because we may have to go back again and check the coronary. So this large cells is one. The other one is radio force. One of the patients that we are debating on today in Western world, Europe and US, are patients with the heavily calcified valves and bicuspid. And due to this uh, radi increased radio force in comparison with to other competitor using the same self-expanding technologies. They are better they, because they can treat these bicuspid and calcified valves with excellent results, results as shown in the results of the study. So higher radio force and the third important feature with this valve that makes it a bit different also is the, the shape, it has a skirt and the skirt uh, helps reducing one of the uh, issues with the TAVI, which is part of every leak. And actually, we have observed only uh, minor and uh, mild uh, part of every leak, which is a very important uh, achievement. This was a prospective observational uh, study. So we were enrolling patients suffering from aortic stenosis based on guidelines. So all the standards that we use for our Western studies have been applied strictly and used in this study. Uh, it had uh, independent steering committees and independent collab, and this is very important. So we have been including patients at high risk for surgery or contraindicated for surgery that were suffering from aortic stenosis and that needed to be treated. And we enrolled this patient in seven different centers in China where uh, TAVI could be, have been done uh, doable. This is how we did it. And we followed these patients for one year now. Safety has been proven because mortality rate was very low, even lower than what we have been seeing in the other uh, reported series uh, prospectively for, to validate any other devices. Uh, stroke rate, all stroke rate was very low also. Pacemaker rate, was comparable um, to what we see also with the other devices. But mainly, the most important finding that makes this valve uh, welcome and different also for with the, from the others is that this is a self-expanding device, which uh, uh, could be in the future retrievable, repositionable, that could tackle the bicuspid and heavily calcified patients in, and, and we learned with this valve, we learned from this valve and this experience that bicuspid patients, heavily calcified patients that we have even in Europe it could be treated thanks to this valve without uh, changing any of the, 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 uh, the experience that we have acquired in, in, in our Western world. You know, we have reached a level of expertise and efficacy now with our, the available valves that that uh, this question is very uh, opportune. Uh, but I would say, yes, with this valve, we, we learned that uh, we can treat this two particular subset of patients which are, which are heavily calcified patients without taking a risk of annulus rupture because we use a self-expanding device. So this is one application. And the other is the bicuspid valve for the same reasons, without really changing our practice. We size the same. We implant the same, but we have better outcomes than what we have currently with the available devices. So absolutely, I think there is a space for this valve. We, we're going to now uh, launch the second part of the study using the 
new generation because this valve is also this device of all uh, is had some new iterations uh, either uh, uh, in, in at the, for the valve itself but also the the catheter where we that we used to implant it because it's a motorized catheter that makes the, the implantation very accurate what we are focusing on for the next step is to bring this valve and use it in, in, uh, in our patients in Europe uh, is that we're going to launch the CEMARC trial study and it's in uh, centers in, from Germany, uh, France, Italy, uh, Holland, uh, Switzerland uh, and Copenhagen so, uh, uh, and UK. So uh, l l literally this is the next phase, this is where we want to take it to validate it not only on Chinese patients but on on European population and again th th because there's a need for that.